Hello, hello, hello. Today is Friday, October 7, 2022. Problem 155. Definitely a high school problem. A thin cylindrical shell of radius R1 is surrounded by a second concentric cylindrical shell of radius R2. So look at the figure. You see here R1, and you see here R2, and you see here the cylinders. Um, these two lines here and here are supposed to be exactly parallel, but because the way I took the picture, slightly distorted. But so these are two concentric cylinders. The inner shell has a total charge of plus Q and the outer shell minus Q. Assuming the length L of the shells is much greater than R1 and R2, determine the electric field as a function of lowercase r. If you look at the figure again, you see here lowercase r, that is the radius in between r1 and r2. So, we do that in three different ways. The first, first question is that small r is smaller than r1, capital R1. The second question is that small r is smaller than r2, but larger than r1. So it's in between the two cylinders. The third question is that r is larger than R2. So it is outside the cylinder. And then the last question is, what is the kinetic energy of an electron if it moves between the shells in a circular orbit of radius R1 plus R2 divided by 2? And what I mean by that, that the electron is not in a spiral motion if we would call this the direction x, then x is not changing. So it's only going around like this, but not in this direction or in this direction. So what then is the kinetic energy of that electron? All right. Yes, it is a straightforward, simple high school problem. That means if you can't do it, um, well, <laughs> you have to brush up on new physics. And uh, you, of course, we will still be friends. That's a given. I, that's that's never an issue for me whether you can do a problem or whether you cannot do a problem. But you certainly would want to study then my solutions because this is very, very basic. All right, enjoy problem 155. I made it easy because occasionally <laughs> I do an easy problem.